Well, I don't usually, I'm trying to do this uh, video and I hope it comes out okay. Well, today is officially DA painting. I'm laying my brushes down. I'm calling it quits. I've always been around for those that, um, that, um, you know, Bunny, you know I'm always there for you. Pastor Jones, you know I'm always there. And others, some people. Um, what I'm going to do, I don't know. I'm going to do more work around the church and do some probably some charity work for my seniors. Because uh, I'm a senior now. Um, but, strange thing, how we started. <clears throat> we started out D&K painting. Um, and that started... Um, when I retired from Bellwood, <clears throat> I went into Bellwood one day. I had 27 years of service there. And I went in one day and just looked around I'm like, man, I don't want to be here no more. So I called up front and I asked, hey, can I retire? And they thought I was talking six months down the road or something. Um, I said, no, I want to retire today. They said, well, it never happened before, Mr. Johnson, but we'll see. So she called up DC and they said, well, he can't do it. As long as I checked out post that day, in which I did, I checked out, never looked back. I think I've never been there about one time since since then. Um, then I just started doing, I never liked painting. See, my brothers and I, was four of us, plus my cousin, my mother raised four, five boys. We didn't have uncles that came around and taught us how to paint, work on stuff. I think the only thing we had in that house was a hammer and a saw. Uh, not a whole lot of tools around the house because. I had my mom and my aunts lived upstairs. Um, and my brothers and I, we had nobody like an uncle to come around and say, hey, this is how you do this. Um, nobody to show us how to do stuff. So most of the stuff we learned uh, from life and learned on our own. And I never liked painting. I never liked it for some reason. Um, so God was sending you to something that um, you, <laughs> you didn't necessarily see being something for you. But God is awesome, I'm telling you. Um, so when he took me out of Bellwood, um, I just didn't do anything for a couple of weeks. And then, um, my neighbor next door, Pat, Pat McBride asked me, Hey, Dan, you want to paint, you know, make a couple of dollars painting, um, paint this den for me. And I, man, I, I ain't really know a whole lot about no paint. I brought cheap brushes, cheap rolls, all that good stuff. Um, got that done. I was then just doing stuff for friends, you know. And really won't do enough fifty dollars for a whole room and stuff like that, but it was just a past time, you know. Um, and then we, um, Pastor Jones, Michael Jones, he's more of a friend than, a, than my pastor. I mean, I mean, he's my pastor to the love and the death because he just got a heart of gold. Um, he had some houses. He's like, man, you paint? I'm like, yeah. Um, told me, you know, I just started. And he's like, man, you want to make some money? So he. Let me paint his houses. And uh, that was through trial and error. So with painting that, he got me some more content. Matter of fact, Michael Jones was the first one to give me, gave me my first ladder. He was like, man, take this ladder. So he's been very instrumental. I have to tell you, Michael Jones, my pastor, my friend, that, man, you have been more than um, a guidance and an instrument in the success of these businesses um, because at the church um, it was another guy in there named Kevin Pollard Now Kevin worked for a painting company and um, the painting company you know he worked for I mean Kevin did years of painting so past like you paint you paint why don't y'all get together and do some things so Kevin and I started doing something Kevin really taught me a lot about cutting in I was taping taping walls, taping trim, and all that stuff, um, and just about different stuff, uh, and I appreciate you coming for that, so pastor was preaching one Sunday, it was like, be the lender, not the borrower, why don't y'all start some business and start working for folk, so Kevin and I looked at each other, we started D&K painting, um, where we had, man, a lot of houses we painted, um, really was a two-man crew, and then God elevated us. Uh, we did work on Hall Street. If you ever go up Hall Street from 10th, not 10th. It's from about 12th and Hall 
Tampa and all that. Up. You see those buildings that have been painted up there on Hall Street that was painted by the DNK painting. If you go on Brooklyn Park Boulevard, um, we were we go on Brooklyn Park Boulevard. It was painted by DNK. Uh, the 100 block of Brooklyn Park Boulevard. We painted all those buildings on the right side of the street where you see the laundromat at. Uh, we painted all those buildings. I don't know if they've been repainted, but we painted that. We painted the bakery, exteriors of them. Um, then we painted a lot of offices at Bon Secours, thanks to my wife, Angela Johnson. Big shout outs to my girl because uh, she's hanging in there with me. Um, she believed in me when nobody else, her and Michael Jones believed in me uh, when nobody did. Um, and I thank you. Uh, oh, I got to give a shout out to my sister, Bunny. Uh, she's my sister from another mother. We neighbors from 20, old 26th Street. But Bunny always, she was one of the first ones just flipping houses then, called me um, to come paint. But I'm getting ahead of the story. <laughs> All right, so Pastor. Uh, told us start a business. Me and Kevin started a business. Started DNK. All right, um, but before I started with DNK, yeah, Bunny had called me. Uh, I was doing painting for her and her houses um, uh, because I had started driving school buses to supplement the income because you know we started a business. I mean, I have that much income. And um, Bunny, uh, I would jump off a bus and uh, go paint. And then time to go pick up the kids in the evening, I jumped back on the bus. Which was funny about that, I didn't know that you're not supposed to have buses all over town. I'll drive the bus uh, over the north side, my route over the south side. And I get a call from a <laughs> supervisor, Johnson, what you doing over the north side? So that was funny. But Kevin and I kept going, and I uh, retired from, uh, I left the school bus system, I mean, RPS. Uh, went, it was on spring break, and I was like, I had been telling Angie, hey, these kids are getting, you know, they, you know, I loved my kids. I had a good kids. I got, I had kids from Armstrong. I picked up Blackwell, uh, high school, Blackwell, Hillside Court, um, Oak Grove, all of that, and got them to Armstrong. And, you know, we had understanding, and, uh, but, it was some more of the parents, and just got tired of some of the political stuff with the schools uh, about getting bad kids off your bus and stuff. <clears throat> so left there, and uh, God opened the doors for DNK. We, if you ever go down Brooklyn Park Boulevard and you're at Second and in Brooklyn Park, Old Highland Springs Elementary, DNK painted the exterior of it. We painted the interior. Fourth floor to the basement on the east side. Um, we didn't finish the bathrooms. If you ever go to on Mosby Street, old Jefferson Town Houses, the ones the new uh, set of apartments near near to uh, Jefferson uh, Park, DNK painted those. We painted the fourth, third, second. We got down to the first floor. Um, and what we did, we had hired a whole lot of brothers that said they needed jobs. And we was trying to explain to the brothers that, hey, man, let's work these jobs. Um, and we can get more jobs from this company. But I guess, you know, guys, some guys you just can't tell. We'll pray on them every morning. We'll invite them to church. Um, and if somebody got bad much motives, um, then it won't work. I mean, we had hired up to 60 black men. Um, it was like, you know, you, when you go to a Hispanic company, you never see them hire. I'm not going to say never. I have never seen them hire um, outside of Hispanic. White companies, most of the time, they hire white guys. Um, especially small companies. Um, and that's one thing Pastor Jones tells me, never call yourself small. So, um, so we we did those, but we had to pull out because we had guys that were just, I mean, we had 60 guys on payroll, and they were just really not doing anything. So 
that took a toll on D and K. Um, so we closed that. <clears throat> Kevin, thank God, he, him and his wife, they moved uh, and started a new career and life down in uh, Georgia. But down came D.A. painting, Danny Angela, um, where um, God just blessed us um, with, um, thank you, Katrina Murray. Katrina uh, was... Uh, the only H H O H O A, where she lived at the townhomes and stuff, and she got us the contract to paint all the shutters, all the doors over there. Um, man, so that's when people step out for you, you know, and you got to thank them. Ryan Sanders, Ryan, thank you. H O A over there, this part of where he lived at. Um, these houses over there. Um, everybody required everybody to get their shutters done. We, Ryan by him passing our name on, got us that job. We painted all those shutters over there. So if you know where Ryan live at, all those shutters over there, except for the maybe 10 homes, we did all of them. Angela Rafford, people just, you know, um, gave my name to people at the Girl Scouts. We painted our entire suite. Uh, my wife um, um, will, uh, will get us work, give me jobs, painting with bonds and and the homes that she sold. Uh, Sean Mears, dude, Sean Mears um, is a realtor that really stuck with me, man. He called me for all every job. Um, I like to thank Chris Meekins, Chris, Chris, his houses, his web businesses, everything. Danny come paint them. Man, and give my name to other folks. So that's when people, you got to thank them. So those people give your name to other people. I mean, Chris did it. Um, Kia Towns, thanks for always uh, referring us to folk and gave us a couple of houses. Um, man, uh, some of you guys, and if I forget your names, y'all, y'all, the ones y'all have given some big, y'all have Trina Davis painted everything in her house. Inside, outside. Um, who else is always called on us? Miss Keisha Means. Um, Kia, yeah, Keisha Means. Um, man, um, this has been so many people that. Um, my next door neighbor, Carl, and just, uh, you know, your neighbor sometimes don't want you to do work for them. But Carol and uh, was would would get my wife. We just finished doing her exterior home. So I want to thank all y'all that gave us the opportunity <laughs> to do stuff. I'm, I'm was trying to thank everybody, um, but I know I won't. Go, I'm gonna miss somebody. But anybody that ever did work with D and K or D A painting, I appreciate you guys. Um, <clears throat> I will be. Uh, at the Village of Faith, doing work around there. Um, uh, of course, Michael Jones. Michael Jones, Pastor Michael Jones, man, gave us paint anything at the Village of Faith. The sanctuary, the new sanctuary, the, uh, the uh, both of the church location, his houses. Man, he carried my name before people. Um, that's when you call a guy, your friend. He, he carried my name before people. You know, only thing I did not hate, I mean, did not like so much about black businesses is some of us black guys are scared to give other guys business a chance. Man, I would pass anybody a card around. If I didn't do it, we could do sheetrock. We could do different other little jobs. But I would give that to um, another company because that's what they did. You know, I don't have to, you can't make all, all the money. Man, when I started out, I used to ask uh, guys have been in business, black companies, they've been in business a long time, man, what to do, how to do this, because I didn't know it. They would not give me any answers, man. So that's bad that you're so scared that another man going to take your business. There's enough work out there for everybody in your own little niche. So never be afraid to help a brother out to tell them, man, if y'all need anything now that I can help y'all with, or somebody starting out that need a little, uh, Advice. Matter of fact, the guy, uh, guy that used to work 
well, was working for me, uh, Anthony Jones. Um, if y'all want his number, inbox me, I'll give you his number. Um, I have, he's been asking me about um, how to estimate, and I've been trying to give him, and I give him a lot of equipment and stuff like that, and I'm going to work with him. But don't be afraid to help a brother out. You always want a black entrepreneur, but you don't want to help him. Because some of the red tape that they have, you got to sign up for a uh, minority business. You got to sign. This is like, man, I mean, tons and tons of paperwork. If you never did this, if you don't have a, uh, a setup where you can do it, it's overwhelming. Um, city need to change that some kind of way. Uh, of that process of, if I'm a minority business, you can look at me and say I'm a minority business. I mean, I you can see I'm a minority, right? But they got a ton of paperwork you got to fill out. If you go to the state and want to get SWAM certified, you got a ton of paperwork to fill out. And all this uh, financials and stuff like that. It's just ridiculous. Um, if you really want to help, help. Don't put a whole lot of barriers up there. Um... Yeah, we were SWAM certified and Better Business Bureau and all that stuff, man, but it takes time. We don't, I mean, small business, you start out, you don't have time for accountant. You don't have time to get, you can get legal advice, but you don't have time to have a legal, uh, an attorney on, on what you call it. Now, as you get legal shield through Chris Meekins. <laughs> all right, shout out to Chris. Um, so, man, um, I just make this video. I hope I can transfer it from. I couldn't do it on my phone, and I'm not tech savvy. Another thing, but to anybody who want to start a business, start your business. God will, God will carry you. Man. You just stay faithful to the business. You stay faithful to God. D A D K D and K. But we always did, even though you know we gave tithe from our personal lives. We tied it off our business. And this has never hurt us. I mean, that's an individual choice. You want to do that? We gave a lot of uh, free painters away because it didn't hurt me. It never did. My mother used to tell me, "Baby, can't nobody hurt you. You know, uh, loving somebody can't hurt you." So the logic of it is, as long as you know you loved it and you did it from your heart, they don't care what nobody else thinks. Some people may thought it was getting over or doing that, but a lot of stuff, man. I go in people's houses do it. Do stuff and like, man, throw that in. You always throw a little extra in there. But um, I was gonna do this, my cake and all that, because anybody know me, I know I love cakes. Oh, you know what, y'all know. If you haven't tried, try Hostess lemon cupcake. Man, they are. Woo, Ryan, you know me. I'm telling you, Monica Cruz, you know. Um. But I would like to thank you, like, especially Michael. Michael Jones and my wife. Uh, my wife has been a pillar. Angela Rome Johnson has been a pillar behind me. When things didn't go rough, uh, when money got short, uh, when we had to close down D and K, uh, she was like, "Hey, I, I got your back. This, hey, what you gonna do?" So um, she's been there, man, thick and thin. And everybody needs that, man. You need a uh, that person, and she's my my rock. So I thank her, but most of all, you know, I thank God, because it was not for Him uh, creating this talent, creating me, and putting this talent in me. It would have never worked. Um, it wasn't Him waking me up and telling me to get, do it again. And so, um. I think I got everything in here. I wanted to put it in here. Now I got to see if I can transfer it to, to uh, Facebook or something like that. But um, bless y'all. Love one another. D and K is out. D A is out. But I'm always going to be around. Michael Jones, thank you, brother. Thank you, man, for always speaking to my life. He prayed over our business, he gave my first ladder. He was always supportive. He always, always, hey man, how the business doing? How this? So, and never call yourself a small business. Always encouraging. My wife, always encouraging. Always there. My name is my family, my brother Dwight. Man, I have him out there. He was the greatest 
carpenter around that I knew. And fix it, Mr. Fix It Man. I would have him out there, man, and he would come out. If I just called my brother, boom, he was there. Um, <laughs> I remember one time I had a little trouble with some guys over on Brooklyn Park. We were painting this guy, come up and running his mouth. And I called my brother. At least I know he came in that loaded. Uh, Churchill style. So, <laughs> so um, he didn't mess with his baby brother. So he's always been a protector. And he's always, he taught me, man. He taught me, I didn't know how to, when you cork something, how to smooth it out right, correctly. And he showed me that. I'll never forget. And anything else, he was just more of a teacher. And he'll come out and work, man. So he's retired. I can't get him out no more, so I think I better go and retire. But uh, it's been a blast. Like I said, thank you, Sean Mears. Brother, thank you. You know I'm here for you. Thank you, Bunny, Wilmo Edmonds. Thank you. Keisha Bassett, thank you for all me using me for all your painting needs. Katrina Davis, thank you. Always using me. Um, man, there's so many people that always use us. Um, Chris Meekins, thank you, man. Y'all go to Michael's Auto, get a car. Y'all looking to purchase a home. Y'all see Sean Mears or my wife, Angela. Angela. Rome Johnson. Uh, Talisha Irby and me having paints uh, houses because she does property management and sell homes. Kia Towns always gave send, send me somebody's name to do. Um, she gave me a couple of houses to paint. I thank you. And for those 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 for those of you that yeah, I've been friends with for a long time, did not use D A D and K. No hard feelings. Everybody got somebody they prefer. So. I don't get salty about that. Um, and I, you know, 90% of the jobs we did, we got tips. So that tell you something. Um, I only had other, since 2006 when we started the business, I had only, we've had only one complaint. Well, DNK we had one, and DA I've had one. Um, so, thank God for that. But like I said, my biggest supporter, my biggest ones was God. God sent me to it. He brought me through it. And I ain't through with that phase of it. Like I said, I probably would still do something sometime for certain people. But, it's been a long video. I know everybody didn't watch all of it. But to my kids, thank you. Because he, you know, I forgot to tell you, when I left Bellwood, I didn't go back for no ceremony. Uh, they sent me my plaque in, uh, by Daryl uh, Darryl Braxton. Uh, when I left the uh, original public school system, driving school bus, I didn't go to the retirement thing. Uh, they sent me uh, my uh, retirement piece through uh, the mail. So... This is my retirement speech that I never gave it to other, <laughs> other times in life. So, excuse me, it was a little bit long. Love y'all. I hope y'all understood. Sometimes my voice is, gets raspy. And um, I hope y'all understood everything. And I hope I can get this on um, Facebook. All right, guys. Uh, D and K. D A. Danny out. Peace.